Well, you know, over the years, Democratic Congressman Brian Higgins has basically breezed to one re-election victory after another, but a new challenge has now emerged, and it's within his own party. Steve Brown reports a progressive Democratic group has been hunting for a candidate to face Higgins in the party primary next year. I'm a politician. I'm always a target. But it appears for the 2020 campaign, the eight-term congressional Democrat may face a challenge within his own party. Justice Democrats, the organization that recruited and helped Socialist Democrat Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez win her House seat, has been at work in western New York looking for a Democrat to run against Higgins. Do you take this personally? I don't. I mean, politics is a tough game. You have to have thick skin. And, uh, you know, we aren't afraid of a fight. Environmentalist Jackie James Creedon was approached about a primary challenge to Higgins, but she declined, telling supporters on Facebook she'd rather continue working with her organization. Also approached Nate McMurray, who also said no. Although we may have minor disagreements on issues here or there, uh, this is not the time to have those fights with people that are on your side. McMurray says of the several people encouraging him to run, many had grown impatient with Higgins on certain issues. In a district like that, there's a hope that he would be more um, progressive. progressive, more forward on issues like health care. While Higgins favors opening up Medicare to people who want in on the government insurance, McMurray wants a Medicare for all universal health care system for the country. That's a position similar to Ocasio-Cortez. And when asked if he thought the New York City Congresswoman may be interested in ousting him from his seat, Higgins answered this way. I have no idea and it doesn't matter. There's always going to be an influence uh, out there that uh, tries to impose itself. A spokesman for Ocasio-Cortez says the congresswoman was not at all involved with recruiting primary candidates to run against Higgins. We did reach out to Justice Democrats to ask why it believes Higgins should be replaced, but they did not respond. Steve Brown, Channel 2 News.